Thank you, and we'd like to, it's my pleasure and honor to bring up Ron Suber. Thank you. Tonight actually marks my 73rd presentation of this calendar year on this very topic. And I'm gonna to try to spend the next 12 minutes only showing you three slides. But when I am finished here, you will all be experts on what is this thing called peer-to-peer -peer lending, online lending, marketplace lending. And I look forward to being with everybody at the cocktail party afterwards. If we take a step back and think about our own lives, how many people remember rushing down to Blockbuster with your children to get a movie and it wasn't there and you had to wait and then you had to rewind it and then take it back? And how many people remember buying records and tapes and CDs, but that's all changed, right? We're streaming our music, we're streaming our movies. How many people remember the first time you heard about this thing called Uber where you were actually gonna get in a stranger's car and they were gonna take you somewhere else and you didn't have to pay for it on the way out. What a different experience that was with your transportation. Well, as Dara said, this is revolutionary. They are the largest transportation company on the planet and they don't own one car. And the same is true for Airbnb. You're going to somebody else's home, there's a technology company doing the finance and the organizing and the billing, but you don't know who's there and they don't know who's staying, but they're now the largest lodging company on the planet. And so I'm gonna to explain to you what's happening with this collision of FinTech, finance and technology, this collision of Wall Street and the banking industry in Silicon Valley. And we're gonna do it in a way that literally you'll be experts in nine minutes. So what is marketplace lending? It's this, just like Uber connects a passenger and a driver and Airbnb connects a person and a place to stay that's what we're doing. On one side, we'll take the right side of the room, you'll be the borrowers. And on the left side here, you'll be the money. So the borrowers could be people who have consumer credit, super prime, 750 FICO, prime, near prime, low prime. Four kinds of consumers looking to borrow money from people and institutions on this side. And that's what we're doing is we're matching the people on this side with the money. These are people with regular accounts and IRA accounts, and the biggest institutions you know looking to meet other people to do lending. That's really what this is. But it's not just for consumers, it's for student loans, it's for mortgages, it's for real estate, it's for franchises, it's for insurance. And so the way people borrow money for all of these ways is now very, very different than it was before. It's what we call the access economy. How we as technology companies with backgrounds in finance, I spent 20 years on Wall Street, have come to find all these borrowers, consumers, students, people with mortgages, people for real estate, and connected them to people with cash and IRA accounts and institutions. Today, you can go in your Fidelity or your Schwab or JP Morgan account and buy a stock. And that stock only buys loans from places like Prosper and Lending Club and SoFi and others. And soon you will have ETFs that you'll be able to go to your IRA account and invest in a mutual fund or an ETF that owns our loans. And so this is as revolutionary as Uber and Airbnb. And now you're experts of what is this online lending? What is this marketplace lending? It's just like Uber and Airbnb. It's connecting two groups that never knew each other before. And so the question is why? What are the benefits? So on the right side of the room were the borrowers. These were people with a credit card balance. These were people with the desire to borrow money at night in their pajamas, quickly, online, in a mobile experience with a better rate and a fixed rate. That's what we've created. There is no more putting on a suit like my father did and going to the bank and asking somebody for money and hoping to get it in 30 or 45 days. It is this new experience with many, many benefits to the borrowers. And as Dara said, and you're gonna hear, now investors in your brokerage accounts and your retirement accounts can invest in these new alternative fixed income asset classes, consumer, student loan, mortgage, 
real estate. You get the idea. And the investors now have a place to go. If you look at how marketplace lending has done compared to stocks, we'll come back to key components in a second. Look at this chart. This is how marketplace lending has done against all the other investments you could have done for the past 12 month period. And we saw with the election, $1 trillion came out of the traditional fixed income markets. These online marketplaces continue to perform. And we're able to perform because of this, because we're getting the right people to join us from the best technology and credit companies, from the best finance companies, from the banking industry and the product industry like the IRA team you're gonna hear from. We're growth companies, we have the most data, but it's not just getting the data, the banks can get the same data, it's what we do with the data to help determine the right price and the right credit and the right term and the right interest rates. And it's what we do with marketing. How do we find the borrowers and how do we find the investors? We're using all kind of ways that haven't been done before. And so it's this combination of us as marketing people, us as tech, credit, banking, and operators of these growth companies with great underwriting and our ability to have equilibrium, to have the same number of borrowers as we have the same number of investors. On a personal note, in 2011, I wanted to find a little more yield for my regular account and my IRA account. And I found Lending Club and Prosper and SoFi and all, Lending Home and all these companies and started investing $25 at a time. And my wife said, there's no way you can be on the internet at 10 o'clock at night in your IRA account investing in other people, in their mortgages, in their consumer, in their real estate, in their student loans. But it is real. She actually thought it was a Ponzi scheme, that there were no borrowers on the other side, that this really wasn't the IRA money. But trust me, it's real and it works. It is a new alternative fixed income asset class that now us, we as individuals, in our brokerage accounts and in our retail accounts can get access to. I think what's important, we'll flip through a lot of these slides, is this last one. Is that in America, there is $700 billion of credit card debt and much of it's mispriced and these people want to get out of the death spiral of credit card debt and come to find the sharing economy and the access economy. And there's a trillion dollars of people who want to buy things. Home improvement, elective medical, medical, vacations. And this is the new way that they can borrow. And for investors, it's easy to do at retail. You can come direct to our sites, you can go to these listed funds, and you can do it in your regular accounts and your brokerage accounts. I'm as excited as I've ever been about online lending and online marketplaces. And you'll hear about some of the legal changes and some of the retirement capabilities. And I look forward to seeing you all at cocktails right after. Thank you very much.